Greetings citizens of the United States. We are anonymous. We are here to answer the questions many people had concerning Project V. We must stress that we only took questions from our Project V questions video titled, Anonymous. PV questions. If you posted your questions in another video, with the same title, that was located in another channel, we did not answer it. You ask yourselves why. We specifically said in the video to post your questions in our video titled PV questions located in our channel, which is obviously this one. Many questions were the same, nevertheless we answered them, and hopefully clarifies. Question 1. What do you want to do exactly? Will there be war? Will we have deaths? The answer is to unify in the masses. We are not expecting by any means global unity by the end of this month. Yet we expect positive unity towards yourself, whilst you interact with others to join you. Remember, don't be afraid to interact with anyone. We are all here for a reason, and our life plays out by the choices you, the people, make. As for war, that is up to you. Anonymous, as a conclusion, is peaceful resistance. Yes you, the people, hold the choice to attack the main root of all evil in a diplomatic way or violent way. Whichever you choose will decide the faith your country will have in the distant future. Will we have deaths? A revolution always comes with deaths, yet these deaths come with honor, bravery. It brings up the patriotic questions, will you die to protect your country? Question 2. What exactly will Anonymous do to bring the change in 2015 to be candid? That specific question will be under the radar until further notice. Project V will end at 12 a.m. PST and our address will begin on January 1, 2015 PST. Will we, Anonymous, be taking a hiatus to watch and see if the people choose to rise, or will we continue to create content to show the people that they are not alone? Anonymous is for the people, by the people. We will always show content and events the people need to participate. We will not be taking breaks. We will work around the clock to bring the people the latest on events each month. In 2015, we will accomplish. If not, then Anonymous is definitely dead. We have been criticized by people that don't even try, and have been infiltrated by Cointelpro, as you've seen with the Anon Message YouTube channel. Question 4. What will happen if not enough people wake up in 2014? Simple, nothing. Question 5. I'm 16 years old, and my basic question is, what should I do? This is a message to the youth. If you have the ability to create and post around what you want heard, do it. If you have the ability to write the word censored and tape it to your lips, do it. You don't need the guy fox mask to stand in protests, yet. If you are afraid to speak and shout justice, the simple solution, as we said before, is to get paper, write the word censored, and tape it to your lips. After that create a poster and draw or write on what you, the youth of America, want heard, with the mask or no mask. That's your choice, alone or with people, just have hope in you, knowing that you are trying, unlike the people that are sitting and watching the revolution unfold, while you, participate in it, and while you, are a part of it. Question 6. Will there be a specific place for us to rally? Truthfully, no. The only place that will be available if Project V continues succeeding and the revolution will go uproar is either Wall Street or DC. These are the main hotspots and where the final stages of revolution will take place. Question 7. What will people from other countries do? Simple, make people aware. This year is the time of enlightenment, and the time for coming revolution. History has proven us that evolution is advancing, yet, we have fallen, and it's time to flip our cards and revolutionize others' minds by talking to them, and peacefully protesting. Question 8. Will people in rural areas be aware of this address? We are working hard to figure out a way to get the message across to those that are not aware of us, yet it is difficult. Nevertheless we will find a way to get this message, Project V specifically, across all borders in the United States. Urban areas are the ones that will start, from there, people will notice. 
Question 9. Will this project solely be aimed at the United States? Yes, this project is aimed at the United States. We believe, if America has its own revolution, it will inspire others to rise in the masses. Nevertheless, inspiring others or not, the main goal is for you, the people, to unite and show who the true leaders are in this country. Question 10. I've only been awake for less than a year. I've started trying to wake others up have sometimes difficult conversations. I've shared many videos I see as important. I've started signing petitions, such as reopening the 911 investigation, etc. I intend to bring up issues in my community such as water fluoridation, the abuse of our farmers, the now obvious attacks on our civil liberties and economic stability. What else can I do to help? The answer to this question is nothing. You've proven to yourself, and to us, that you try, to show that you have a job, a family, a life, and still have the ability to spread the word of the nightmare that is the United States government. People with these comments slash questions are ready. All they need to do, is to gather enough people, to not occupy, or protest, but to demonstrate in the masses. Question 11. Can Canadians join the fight? Yes, yes they can. Question 12. Will this be a physical or digital revolution? And what resources will we need? Hands down, this will be a physical revolution. A cyber revolution has been accomplished, yet a physical has not. As for resources, water, snacks, medical aid kits, banner, the US flag, and a mirror. Why the mirror? To face the mirror to the people that are trying to arrest you for trying to exercise your rights, to show them how corrupt they have become. Question 13. What type of government should we place of the old one? With stress, it is up to you, the people of the United States, to decide, as we've said before we do not hold the key, to release the chains of the people that are still imprisoned in their minds. You, are the ones worth the power to negotiate and decide what government system should be placed. Yet the choice leaves questions, and hopefully these choices come with diplomacy between the people, not, government officials. Question 14. What do y'all need done, and how much are y'all willing to help? I bet I hear nothing back, coming from an ineffectual, privileged, effete, soft-centered, prudish, prone, meretricious, debutant. You did hear back, and here is the answer to your question. We've done our duty, it's your turn to do yours. As for help, like we said, we'll look for events for people to participate in. In order for this to work, the people need to cooperate. Hopefully that answers your question user Jared Womack. Question 15. How can we use Project V to implore others to participate? Project V's goal is to both inform and unite the people, thus leading to unity and the spreading of information. We implore all United States citizens to show this particular video to family members, teachers, co-workers and other such category. Question 16. A bullet started the first revolution. How is this revolution going to start? Simple. You, the people, will make the start, not by violence, but by mass demonstrations. Protests and Occupy have not helped us, yet, your last resort is mass demonstrations. Question 17. Do you want us to call our senators slash congressmen? If you call your senators, congressmen or any other government affiliated member, they will not listen to your opinions, requests and or solutions. Instead they will ignore your pointing or visions for they provide a challenge. And that challenge is that of change. Question 18. We are not hackers. How can we help? Simple, physical action. With recent NSA revelations, Anonymous is being cautious on what sites to target. We wish to not see any more innocent lives fall for the unjust system that is the United States government. Cyber attacks are done with. Yet if time gets weary, by all means, we will use our skills to help the people. Yet your resort, as we must say stressfully, is physical action. Question 19. How can we be secure, 
How can we stop people taking anonymous as conspiracy theorists? How can we disperse groups into smaller ones for it to spread throughout the country? A video will be uploaded concerning security later on February both in the cyber world and physical world. In order to await people that anonymous is not a groups of conspiracy theorists, we implore them to wake that anonymous is by the people. For the people, they are anonymous. You are anonymous. And the question lies, are you a conspiracy theorist? We need to reply on true facts in order to strive our movement forward. As for the dispersing group, the answer will lie in a video that will be uploaded in the Anon Messenger YouTube channel. Question 20. We have been facing the phrase, no show, all talk, and people believe, in order to prove our legitimacy, we need to take action and attack specific websites in order to prove our point across the project V. Let us clarify to this, our talk is over, our show is far from done, and it has only begun. Now it is the people's turn to make their talk and show, harmonize and unite. We cannot, and will not, attack sites carelessly. If the people get harmed, we will back. It is up to you, to make the choice. Remember that, not us, not the government, not the corporations, you, hold the key. With 2016 elections coming, should we boycott the voting system so we can send a message to them that our votes have not worked at all, especially during the past 12 years? Indeed so, instead of voting for an elected official, vote for anonymous. With enough votes with the anonymous term in each vote, we can bring about an impact to the system itself, and the people in DC will start to question, and that question will be aimed at the people. Can we form a militia? Will there be a militia? Will we need a militia? There are many militias that already exist. Some are even linked to anonymous. The important thing to remember is militias should be created by the people to protect the people. This doesn't just mean in times of war. Whenever a community needs help, the militias should be there to offer assistance. A well-regulated militia should be something each community has, and is even stated in the, the U.S. Constitution slash Bill of Rights. What is Project V? What is required of us? What are the core objectives? Project V is a distant transmission of Operation V that was released and terminated two years ago in where Anonymous took the note that the people of the United States were not ready for revolution. We believe the time for re-election is here and the chance for real change is here. What Project V requires from you, the people, is choice, the choice to either act or wait and keep ranting on how bad your government and how this country is, the choice to interact people, to make them aware, to make them united to stand by you when revolution comes. The core objectives is a development of five phases, four in which will take place this year, and the last phase, phase V, will launch on an unknown date. Question 25, what is the first step? to make a revolution possible. This question is aimed at the people that are awake. Starting on February 1st through April 30th Phase 1 will commence. Phase 1 will start as protesting and occupation of your cities. Phase 1 will represent you to connect, interact and unite with the fellow citizens that agree that the United States have turned downwards. Phase 1 will solely rely on peaceful activism. Its goal is to make people aware to wake part of the masses. Phase 2, 3, 4, and especially 5, will remain secret, yet, Phase 1 introduction video will release on February 1st, 2014. It will be a video of inspiration to give the people of the United States a message to strive forward and to never give up. Question 26. What will Anonymous do to expose the secret societies that have been hidden for so long? The following response to this question has been answered by World United Anonymous. There's an operation in the works that does have a goal of exposing the secret societies. That being said it's more of a message. Evidence will be provided showing the existence of the secret societies. However, there's a reason they've remained hidden for so long. To be 100% honest, though the operation will include letters written by the secret society, it will be very hard to prove its authenticity. So what does this mean? The operation being planned as a whole is to bring awareness where possible. However, at its core it's about sending a message to certain people within the secret societies. A message, they'll see very clearly. 
keep an eye out, there's some interesting things being worked on by various people, you never know what might come out next. We hope this video clarifies, nevertheless, a phase 1 video, concerning Project V, will upload on February 1st, 2014, do not stress, for phase 1, of Project V will explain what you, the people, need to do in the first day of February, to the last day of April, we are anonymous, we are legion, we do not forgive, we do not forget, to the people of the United States, let them, expect you. Operation V, was terminated for a reason, the people, of the United States, were not, ready. Project V is your last resort, not ours, our duty is over, yet we will be watching over you, and the watchers, phase 1, of Project V, will commence in 624 hours, don't expect us, 